let's turn our attention um, to Antonio Conte, shall we? And we've just heard that news. He's going in for an emergency surgery to remove his gallbladder. Um, the recommended recuperation time from that, depending on how it goes, is six weeks. Um, but uh, it, it's, it's a tough time for him. We've got to bear that in mind. Football has to be pushed to the side here, does it? Yeah, football is not the priority when you talk about your health. Even though as driven and stubborn as we know is, when you talk about your health, you've got to really be careful, especially with that kind of a surgery. So it might, it's going to be a tough time for him, but health first. Yeah, and I've got to say, we're not doctors. Um, we uh, don't know whether it'll really be not. minimal or, <laughs> or whether they will have to do more yeah. surgery. on. So it's, it, it, it'd be wrong to play a, a guessing game. But it, it will be frustrating for him because he's got big games coming up. He's, he's got Milan in the Champions League. Uh, he's got games against West Ham and Chelsea sort of in the middle of this run of games as well. Especially Chelsea, you would think he would desperately want to be there for. Definitely. And we know the, the addition, the passion, the energy that he brings on the touchline. When you have a manager like Antonio Conte, he's a is a really key player from the whole squad because when the team really need a boost of energy, he's on the touchline, you can look you know, on the dugout and you see him with a lot of energy, so he kind of uh, pass that energy onto the pitch. So it's going to be a big miss. But now it's another time for players to step up, it's especially in this crucial you know, beginning of the year time, Champions League and all those big games coming up, big games coming up. But uh, you know what? It is what it is that you've got to deal with that.